Welcome to Informatica Customer Support's Multimedia KB session. My name is Vimal and in this session I will be discussing how to use and configure the Toad for Data Analysts client to access the data from a deployed SQL data service by executing a SQL. As you might be aware already, there are multiple way clients that can be used to access the SQL data services data and one of the client is an um, utility called Toad for Data Analyst Client provided by an external vendor. And in today's agenda, I will be discussing on an overview of the SQL data service created in the developer client and deploying the SQL data service to the data integration service, configuration of an ODBC DSN using the Informatica native ODBC driver, and using this ODBC within the Toad for Data Analyst client to access the data from the SQL data service by executing a SQL query. Um, as to the first topic for this demo, I'll be importing an Oracle table and exposing it as a virtual table and then attach the virtual table to the SQL data service which will be deployed to the data integration service. So now let me switch to the developer client for the demo part of this topic. As you can see here, I have already in, um, signed into the model repository service and I have imported a table called A1 from an Oracle database into the Informatica developer client. The table A1 has two columns, ID1 and ID2. Now I'm going to attach this table to a SQL data service and deploy it to the data integration service. So now let me proceed with that step. So I'm going to create a data service first and that being a SQL data service. I'm going to leave it as it is the name. I'm going to call this table as virtual table as VT1 and I'm going to name the schema as, schema as VS1. So let me choose the table. Now I have created, um, now I have import, used the data object A1 and assigned it to a virtual table name called VT1. And now I'm going to deploy this SQL data service to the domain, to the uh, domain. So I'm going to deploy this SQL data service call, um, to the data integration service called DIS underscore 951HF3. I clicked on finish and so as you can see, um, the application has been successfully deployed to the data integration service. And now um, let's go to the point where we can create the ODBC DSN using the Informatica native ODBC driver. So um, how I'm going to create the ODBC DSN is from within the Toad for Data Analysts client. So as you can see, I have opened up the Toad client and click on File, New and choose Connection. And we are going to create an ODBC connection. So now, as you can see, the ODBC interface has come up. And now I'm going to create, open the ODBC data source administrator and go to the system DSN and click on add so that I can create a new ODBC DSN. And I'm going to choose the Informatica Data Services ODBC driver 9.5.1. This is the native ODBC driver and I'm going to use this driver to create an ODBC connection to the SQ deployed SQL data service. So click on finish and um, you can choose any name um, here and you have to enter the, the host name, the port number, the data integration service, the SQL data service name, the username and password. So let me populate these parameters. 
So as you can see, I have populated the host name, port number, data, data integration service name, the SQL data service name, the username and the password. And we're just going to test the connection and it, you can see that connection is successful. Click on OK, click on OK. Now click on the drop down and choose the, um, the DSN name that you just created and um, enter the password, username and password here. And then click on connect. Um, so now when you click on connect, what happens is that now you're using this ODBC connection to connect to the deployed SQL data service, which you just now deployed to the domain. So I'm clicking on connect now. As you can see, the connection has been successful. Now right click on toward on the, the connection name and then choose new SQL editor. Now you can see that this has opened up a SQL um, um, editor connected to the SQL data service, which was deployed to the domain. Now you can execute a query here. If you remember, the table name was VT1 that we had created and you can select this query the query and execute it. So this green um, triangle symbol is the execute button and click on execute. And as you can see, I have executed it and it is pulling the data and the data is being outputted to the window here. And um, here you can see that the multiple records being returned to the um, Toad client. So this is how you would use the Toad for data analysts client to access the SQL data service that has been deployed to the domain. Now returning back to the PowerPoint presentation. So I have shown how to create and configure the ODBC DSN and use it within the Toad for Data Analyst client. And this brings to the end of our demo. And we would love to hear back any feedbacks and suggestions from you. Thank you.